talk, 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 talk. We all talk a lot, don't we? We always say, I should do this, or I shouldn't do this. I should stop being on my phone so much, you know, I feel like my life would get a lot better, or, you know, I really hate Snapchat or Instagram because I'm always on it and I feel glued to it. Well, that's for a different video, that part, but questioning things. When we begin to question the world around us is when it really breaks down and we realize how free we are, how many options we have, how many things we can choose to do, and how many things we can choose to let go of. So anyways, what this video is about specifically is mirrors. We all do it every day, but we don't consider it an addiction. And we do it so much that we don't really question it anymore at this point. Mirrors. We all love to look at our reflection. Whether it's some of us who have conversations with ourselves in mirrors, pretending like we're talking to a crowd or another person, or just talking to ourselves face to face in a mirror for whatever reason. Well, well, there's one thing that a mirror can't do. Now, yes, we look at mirrors all the time. We love to look at ourselves to see how we look, to check to make sure everything's in place. My shirt is on straight. My hat is on straight. There's nothing on my face that's weird. Uh, we always feel compelled to look at ourselves in a mirror sometimes because we just want to make sure that our appearance is a-okay before we could go out or talk to somebody else, especially if it's somebody that we like. So, well, are we really getting to see our true selves when we look in a mirror? No, we are only seeing a reflected version of ourselves. That's why whenever you hold up a piece of paper to a mirror, it's backwards because you're not looking at it straight on, you're looking at a mirror image of yourself, which flips it. So really, if you ever wanna look at yourself the real way, there's something called a true mirror. And I didn't even know that I had been looking in a true mirror for you know, a few times when I was younger. It's like if you have the bathroom set up where there's one mirror in the middle and there's two mirrors on the side and they flip out, you know, like a cabinet. If you flip those and you get it angled correctly, you can actually see your true image of yourself. And it's the flipped around version of how you look at yourself in the mirror. That also kind of goes the same with photography and photos. Well, anyways, not what we're talking about. Well, anyways, once again, let's cut to the chase. I decided that I want to challenge myself, and matter of fact, I am making a resolution of mine to challenge myself this entire year. Push my own boundaries and push myself out of my own comfort zones, hopefully, well, hopefully hoping that at the end of the rainbow, I will be happier, or more content, or more satisfied, or whatever. So one more thing to get it off my chest. <laughs> um, I had top surgery, so I look like shit because I can't really move my arms up and I can't shower correctly. Um, so I just put a hat on so I can hide my hair. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going without a mirror, without looking at any reflections of myself, including no photos, no anything really. Um, I'm not going to take the one photo of myself that I have down in my room. I'm just going to leave that up because it's like a really old photo. I'll show you. That was, I'm the one on the right. That's me. I'm on the one on the left. Those are really old photos, so I'm just gonna leave it. My house has a lot of mirrors, so this is literally going to be very difficult, and I'm not going to be covering them up except for the mirror that's in my room. I'll be covering that one up. But the other mirrors are um, everywhere. There's one in my living room, two in my bathroom, um, my dad's, like, whole closet thing is an entire mirror. Um, my sister has a huge mirror in her room. 
Um, there's literally just mirrors around my entire house, except for the living room. So yeah, um, everybody grows up differently, and the houses that we live in really shape and influence the people that we become. And sometimes the amount of times that we look in mirrors or how much we feel compelled to look in mirrors and look at ourselves, it really kind of does some damage on our self-image. And um, quite frankly, it makes us look completely not like how we really look. The whole point of this is to just come out on the other side and to hopefully have a different view of myself. And whether it's good or bad or whatever, I'm hoping that it's good. I'm hoping that it's good. What else can I really say? Yeah, I remember there was a few days where I didn't like look at myself in the mirror. I think maybe I was camping by myself and there's just like one little mirror and then a mirror for brushing your teeth in and whatever. And so I didn't really have many mirrors to look in to look at myself and be like, hey, this is what I look like. I look like shit or I look good. And towards the end of it, I kind of just didn't really care what I looked like. I was just like, you know what, this is me. Um, yeah, and I feel like a lot of us lose that because there's this whole society that we live in nowadays, it's always about looking at yourself, do I look good? I have a mirror here, I have a mirror there, but not even just mirrors, pho photographs, taking photos of yourself, sharing photos of yourself, people taking photos of you, it um, can do some damage on self-esteem. Two days later. What's up? It's Oakley, and today is Basically, my second day of not looking in the mirror. And by second day, I mean like second full day. So, it's proven to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. My house is very reflective. Literally, a few seconds ago, I accidentally looked at myself in the bathroom mirror. I just finished brushing my teeth and wiping my face. I was doing it in the kitchen so that I wouldn't like I have to keep looking down while I was brushing my teeth. <sighs> so uh, yeah, I just like put my toothpaste down and then I just habitually just like looked up and saw my reflection for like two seconds and I was like, oh my god, I shouldn't be doing this. So I put myself away and I left the bathroom and when I looked at myself, I was kind of confused for like a millisecond like oh my god like who is that i was just a little startled because i've really been trying to not look in mirrors or anything i didn't cover the mirror completely in my room but i covered it mainly so you can't like i can't see myself if i really like wanted to see something i could probably see just like a part of my torso or something like that but yeah um it's been a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I can't tape over the mirrors in my bathroom because I don't live alone. Um, and it'd be pretty weird and I don't wanna explain myself to people and be like, hey, this is why I'm doing this. Although that would probably be the best option that I could have and it would make things a hell of a lot easier for me. Um, and the mirror in the living room like, I, I haven't really been in the living room lately, but there's a huge mirror, like, kind of right as you enter my house. It's really hard to miss. And, yeah, I just can't, like, sit in the living room if I wanted to and, like, sit facing towards the wall. Because then I would see myself, which is annoying. I feel like I have to go out of my way to avoid the mirrors and the reflections. And actually... Um, even when I get water, my refrigerator is reflective. It's not like a mirror or anything, it's just reflective and whenever, like I kind of just forgot about this for so long, but whenever I go to get water, I just, you know, I push in the thing and wait for the water to come out and I end up looking at myself, making sure I look good, 
everything because it doesn't really warp your appearance. So as soon as I realized that, I, I grabbed a, uh, a magnet and I kind of put it where my face usually rests when I stand in the same spot. So I put it like right, right there so I can't really see myself, but I also just try to avoid looking at the refrigerator now. It's a lot of avoiding, which is annoying. <sighs> but other than that, um, I feel weird about it. I used to, I mean, I always really like look at myself in the mirror a lot. When I'm on the phone with someone, when I'm in my room, or even when I'm not in my room, like I usually just end up looking at myself in a mirror while I'm talking, just for fun, I guess, or just so I have something to really look at. Um, so yeah, I remember I was like ordering food the other day, and I just like walked over to my mirror and it was all covered, and I was like, oh, I guess I can't look at myself this time. So I kind of just like walked around my room a little, sat down. <sighs> um, there's no places to go because of quarantine really and because I'm healing. I haven't really been going out much. It's still weird to not look at myself in the mirror, to not know what I look like. Things have been feeling a little weird. I feel like I have something missing from my life right now. And looking in the mirror has become such a big part of my life. I feel like I'm missing it. And definitely because it takes up such a big part in my tiny room. It's, I feel a little anxious here and there about it because I just miss it. And um, to be quite frank, sometimes I'm just like, uh, you know what? Screw this. Like, I can't do it the way that I want to do it because if I could do it the way that I wanted to do it, and I lived alone, or I was just staying somewhere alone, I would cover up all the mirrors and just forget about them completely. But I can't. All I keep doing is just avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. But um, I can't change where I live, so I'm just gonna deal with it and keep on doing what I'm doing for the rest of the week. One week later. All right. <clears throat> it's been a week and I've only showered once and that's on me so I'm kind of thinking maybe I should actually take a shower before I look at myself in the mirror so I could feel good but then my hair has to dry before I look at myself because my hair usually looks oh I don't like how my hair is wet it's just really flat but my hair is like really dirty right now my hair is all weird but um I haven't looked at myself in the mirror like really like looked at myself in a week um the mirror in my room is still partially blocked off it's basically blocked off I can't see myself I haven't been looking at myself in it or anything um the only like, I've seen myself in reflections my laptop, my phone, I've seen some photos of me when I've been on my phone, and my computer, so I mean, I wish I kind of did it a little better, but this is the best that I could do right now, and I want to try again later, so I'm going to go look at myself in the mirror for the first time in a week. And I kind of feel like it's going to be underwhelming. I, I kind of feel like I don't even really care if I look at myself in the mirror or anything. I mean, even after this whole week, after the first few days, I was kind of just like, you know, I should really get rid of the mirror that I have in my room because after I wasn't able to look at myself in the mirror, I realized how much I was doing it. And it was kind of crazy how much I was looking at myself in the mirror. Like, all the time. And that's not very good. I think it's just better to just live in my body instead of always looking at it and just being like, oh, okay, that's what it looks like. Instead of just being, instead of just being like, okay, well, this is how I feel in my body. You know, it's uh, weird. But we will go into the bathroom. Or I could do it in here, actually. But... I'm doing the bathroom. Alright. I'm kind of 
scared to be honest. Alright, oh god. been twitching for like the whole week. Maybe it's just the stress from not looking at myself. I have another mirror right here too. It kind of sucks because um, it's like whenever I look in this mirror it's kind of like I'm also kind of looking at my profile. It makes me kind of self-conscious. Maybe I'll go over to this mirror. I look super white in this one though. <sighs> um, I mean my hair isn't as I thought it was gonna be, but I didn't think it was gonna be that bad either, so it's definitely not combed. I decided to not shave my face um, for the whole week because it was just gonna be really hard if I was like shaving my face in the bathroom and then just trying not to look at myself in the mirror the whole time. It was just gonna be like a huge pain in the ass. But yeah, this is uh, what I look like, I guess. I don't really feel like I missed looking at myself when I actually look at myself. I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, thoughts? I don't know. My eye keeps twitching, it kind of hurts. But thoughts about my appearance? Um, I think I look fine. Um, I don't feel very insecure or anything. I feel fine. Um, I don't feel very ugly, to be honest. Well, um, I don't know, I guess that's like it, right? So, I hate how dirty my freaking mirror is. So this was my one week challenge of not looking at myself in the mirror. I tried my hardest, but I really couldn't avoid the reflective surfaces in my living space. Yeah, I think from now on, I'm just gonna just practice not looking at myself very much. Just maybe once a day, once or twice a day, just to feel good. Cause it, I don't know, I, I feel like I feel a little better. I have more time to myself too, that's for sure. Um, it actually feels wrong for me to be looking at myself in the mirror. I feel like I'm doing something wrong since I've just been like trying so hard to not look in the mirrors. I feel like I'm not supposed to be looking at myself. <laughs> my eye looks kind of red. I didn't think my eye was red. And my acne also isn't very bad. So that's pretty cool. <sighs> what did I get from this whole thing? Um, I got that I look at myself way too fucking much in the mirror. And that I feel better about myself when I'm not looking at myself all the time. And when I'm not so preoccupied about how I look to people around me. Um, during this whole time, I went out of my house once. Um, I went to Dick's to like try to return a jacket. I didn't look at myself in the mirror or anything. And I actually didn't feel very anxious at all. Like I walked in, talked to the guy, trying, tried to figure it out. They didn't have my size. And um, yeah, I wasn't very preoccupied with how I was perceived by the world. I was just kind of in the world and just accepted that. And um, I knew that like, whatever little fears I had about my face or how I looked or like if I had something wrong with my face or whatever, um, they, it just felt very minuscule. Like it, it didn't really matter if there was something wrong with my face. Cause like we still talk to people that have, that have stuff on their faces and lint in their hair or whatever. Like it's not a big deal. Well been nice um, and I'm excited to start a another challenge soon thanks for watching my video um, yeah peace